to you about swimming with dolphins. It's a subject deeply close to my heart. Don't do it. Don't swim with dolphins. And these are the reasons why. And don't worry if you've already done it, but these are the reasons why you shouldn't swim with dolphins. A dolphin smile is one of nature's biggest lies. They aren't smiling. It's a physiological makeup. They look like they're smiling. They look like they're always happy when they're swimming with you, but they're not. They're a wild animal. They could turn on you or your children at any point. And don't get me wrong, I did it 25 years ago in Mexico and I have felt bad and regretted it ever since. But I don't think if I if I hadn't have done it, I wouldn't feel as passionately as I do today. I hated the environment they were in. Luckily for me, they were in a pen in the sea. So they had some, they had some of the wild water and everything. A lot of them are in chlorinated swimming pools. Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, better to turn um, game poacher um, to keep game poacher to gamekeeper than nothing at all. But I, I want to make you aware of the problems of swimming with them and then you can make your own mind up at the end so they um they're kept in really bad conditions they are a highly intelligent animal and they should be kept in large groups they they naturally in the wild swim in large pods very rarely do they um do they live on their own and even if they do that doesn't mean they should be kept in a swimming pool or a sea pen or what i would um, encourage you to do is look up Taiji Cove in Japan. It's T A I J I. Those fishermen there are absolutely brutal. So between the first, I think it's the first of September to the first of March every year, every day when when the weather conditions allow, the fishermen go out in um, in groups in boats and they have banger poles on their boats and they're looking for a pod of dolphins. Once they've got them, they surround them, they bang the poles on the boats, which really confuses the dolphins because of their sonar and they get them into a large pod and then they drive them by banging the um, poles against the boat back into shore. Once they're in shore, they connect round them. So basically what they'll do is they'll pick out all of the pretty ones, they'll put them in a separate um, pod. There's panic, they're throwing themselves up against the rocks trying to escape. They separate mothers and babies, they split up um, whole generations of families. And then the ones that aren't pretty enough, they sometimes let them go, sometimes they slaughter them for meat. The ones they keep, they starve in pens. So what happens then is the dolphins then train to do tricks for food. Um, they starve them, they start pumping them with tubes down their throats with dead fish, antidepressants to keep them really calm, tranquilizers, and it takes a month for the dolphin to learn one trick. And once they've learned five or six tricks, they sell them. So that's five or six months in a sea pen. They sell them for a quarter of a million dollars each to marine parks and zoos all over the world. They're shipped in wooden coffin um, like boxes out to these swimming pools. And, you know, you may you may go to a marine park and not even question how that dolphin got there but trust me they didn't just get there once they're there they breed from them as well but that's when the problem starts so they're in these swimming pools they get lesions they get stomach ulcers they swim around 60 to 100 miles a day in the wild and in these swimming pools they have to do around a thousand laps of the pool just to get their exercise so their sonar, which they use to communicate and travel, bounces off the walls of the swimming pool. So they have to switch their sonar off, which causes them high amounts of stress. It's really disorientating for them. And then they perform for the public or you can swim with them. Now, why would you? And, you know, I dread to think what would happen if, if one had turned on me. But why would you put your child or yourself in a pool with a highly stressed animal that's probably drugged up to the eyeballs? to swim with them. If they turn on you, you've had it. They are one of the most powerful uh, mammals in the ocean. They are highly intelligent as well. They communicate with their family members and they're put in incompatible groups. They're housed in incompatible groups in the swimming pools. They can't escape when there's stressful situations. They end up fighting um, and then they can't be released. 
because they'll never survive in the wild. So to release them is an even longer process than to actually capture them in the first place. And that is massively stressful as well because they're used to being fed dead fish. I'd really encourage you to go on and watch Blackfish if you haven't seen it. I think it's a Netflix documentary and it's around the capture of a killer whale. It is really, really sad, but it just exposes to you why you shouldn't go to these parks and swim with these animals. I have joined a group called the British Divers Marine Life Rescue in the UK and I'm a, a marine mammal volunteer now. So if anything strands along the south coast of England, I get a call out and we get called out to whales, dolphins, porpoises, um, seals. Um, and and that, that belonging to that group really opened my eyes as well as to the, you know, just to the atrocities of these capturing these animals and why we shouldn't swim with them and why, you know, why when you go to a country, why wouldn't you pay a nice company to take you out and watch from a respectful distance in the wild and watch them in their own habitat? Not like where you see some of these Asian, um, some of these Asian companies where they've got the dolphins jumping through these whole um, rings of fire and it's just horrendous. So, um, yeah, so what you can do is don't visit marine parks don't visit zoos uh, zoos unless you're um, monitoring them for a campaign and encourage your local marine park to stop breeding these animals as well there's quite a few companies around the world now that are uh, quite a few countries that have stopped importing but as I say, in, in Asia, I think it's still rife. America, um, they'll say they're doing it for educational purposes. It's not educational purposes for the animal. And you can learn your education out in the wild when you go and watch them um, on the boats. When I went to St Lucia and we travelled from St Lucia to Martinique on a... Um, on a catamaran it was absolutely fantastic watching the dolphins choose to swim in the surf of the boat rather than me paying to go to mexico to swim with them in a sea pen there were loads of boats chugging by it, goodness knows what oil and petrol in this in the pen that was getting into the pen so yeah so you know try and join a campaign um speak to your local marine parks if they're still breeding but please 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 don't swim with dolphins and don't worry if you already have because i did 25 years ago but you know i i realize now it was wrong and i just want to open everyone's eyes as and just let these wonderful animals be free in the wild thank you speak soon bye